Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we have another video about perfumes. You know that I like those very much. I am in a hunt uh, for my favorite perfume. I have a few that come close, but again, I haven't found the one. So, today let's talk about a few more. So, here we have another discovery set. And this one is from the brand The Seven Virtues. So, it includes perfumes like Vanilla Woods, Coconut Sun, Blackberry Lily, Santal Vanille, and Lotus Pear. And it's called Peace Perfume Discovery Set. It is much appropriate, don't you think? So, it has this packaging. As you may see, and inside there are the perfume, and we have the perfumes here, and on the back side we have a few notes regarding each and every. Anyway, but let's start with the first one which is Vanilla Woods. So I have sprayed this before because I wanted, um, you know, just to test it. I have tested all of this uh, on my skin as well. And I must say that this discovery set was very surprising because uh, I like all of the perfumes. So, all of the perfumes in this discovery set are really nice. However, let's go back to... This is Vanille Woods. And Vanille Woods is supposed to have top notes of pear, uh, mid notes of rose, and base notes of vanilla, caramel, and amber. Now, I like this perfume on the paper. And let's just spray it again. It smells amazing. Again, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the perfumes in terms of how they smell on paper. This smells sweet. It does have rose in the uh, mid note, but I don't smell it that much. It's not that kind of intoxicated sweet. There is something fresh in there as well. It's very cozy. When I first sprayed it, I thought that it was going to be my favorite. And on paper, I believe it still is. So this is my favorite perfume from this discovery set on paper, right? I'm going to repeat myself again and again because 
the situation on paper you know perfumes are different on paper and uh, on your body that's why it is recommended that you try the perfumes on yourself before you buy them and that's why I am a very big fan of this discovery set so I really like it this is very cozy, appropriate for any time of the year I believe you can use it as your personal scent I know that many many peop people love this I discovered this through a YouTuber, a beauty YouTuber, who said that this was this, her favorite perfume and I was curious because I have never tried any perfume from this brand and so I decided to try it Again, I love this, it's very cozy, it's like a warm, slightly sweet hug However, as I said, I try this perfume on my skin. Actually, I sprayed myself immediately with this perfume because I liked it so much. And the pear here adds, I don't know, like a, a freshness. Sometimes pear can be a very sweet note, but sometimes it has that kind of fresh touch. It slightly smells like tobacco for me. I don't know if it's just if it's just me, but sometimes pear notes do smell like a slight touch of tobacco. Anyway, the main thing here is I did not like it when I sprayed it on my skin which was very very sad because I really like this perfume well I am suspicious because I have another perfume that has caramel as a note and I am suspicious that my body chemistry does not get along with um, caramel as a note because I have another perfume that I am okay with when I spray it on my clothes but not directly on my skin, right? And I am okay with that perfume actually, I like it very much, how it smells However, I cannot spray it on my skin, it has to be on my clothes and slightly further away from my face so I just spray it mid-air and I walk through you know and then you know I'm fine with that perfume and people like it because I have received compliments on it anyhow this is the same situation it's that I, I don't know how to explain it it smells kind of bitter when I spray and when I spray it on my skin um, so yes that was a, a little bit disappointing because, again, I like this perfume very much and yes, I would have liked to, you know, have it in my collection but this is why I like purchasing this uh, discovery set, right? because now I know, now I know because even if I smelled it in the store, right? like in the, on the paper on the paper it smells great it smells great it smells kind of delicious in like a subtle way and again if I have smelled it uh, in the store on the paper I would be thinking this is fabulous but I tried it on my skin and you know the story. So, this was Vanilla Woods. Next, we have Coconut Sun. As the name indicates, right? This should be coconutty, kind of sunny, warm, etc. And it kind of is. 
So the top notes here are a coconut water, citruses, mid notes are frangipani, sea salt, Egyptian jasmine and rose, and base notes are vanilla. It smells kind of similar to another perfume that I have. Uh, actually, it's not a perfume. I did not buy it. It's a, another discovery set. And this perfumes, when they spray, you know that kind of when you spray the perfume and it's so the smell is so strong that you can barely handle it. This is not the case for this perfume. From like the first time you spray it until the time it settles, the smell is good and it's not aggressive. It's a uh, very, I don't want to say subtle because I believe that the, uh, some of these perfumes do have a, you know, a good projection in terms of But it's not aggressive, right? You don't have that alcohol or like a sharp note that just jumps at you right away. So at first, you don't smell and uh, you don't smell any coconut. I would say. For me, at first, they'll smell. This smells like frangipani and vanilla with some citrus. So that would be the opening for me. But as this settles, it does smell like coconut. It smells more like coconut and sea salt with vanilla as a base. So it smells like a expensive sunscreen, basically. For me, anything that is coconut, that is sunny, that is blah blah blah, I feel like those kind of perfumes, they are inspired by um, sunscreen scents, how your skin smells when you are at the beach with some sea salt, again like salt, salty air that touches your skin, warm sun as well, so your sweat. I mean, it's true, when you are on the beach, one has to, you know, deal with all of that. The main thing here is that it does smell like that. So that experience of being at the beach, uh, you know, it's a it's a combination of scents, I guess. And this one, this one smells good. I like this one. I sprayed it on my skin. It was okay. It's not my favorite, however because I feel, again, it smells similar to uh, some perfumes uh, from Replica. They do have something beach related as well. And uh, Juliet has a gun as well, Sunny Side Up. I do believe it smells very similar. Um, so again, there's nothing wrong with this perfume. I don't know which of those three I would prefer. I feel like this one is a bit more complex at the beginning. Again, you smell a bit more of that frangipani and citruses, you know. You don't smell the rose. Rose for me is a tricky note because I don't really like rose scented things. Unless it's a very special type. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So you don't smell the jasmine or rose, uh, but again, frangipani is there, vanilla is there, and citrus is also there at the beginning. Now you start to, that it is a bit more dry, you start to smell a little bit more of that coconut water and salt. It's fresh, but also cozy at the same time. 
the citrus here is it's like a slight touch when I say that it smells citrusy at the beginning it's just a slight touch of freshness right like when you add the citru a little bit of lemon juice into something to make it taste not very you know uh, sweet or like not very heavy right because frangipani and vanilla and again some heavy coconut water as well so those are quite sweet quite like I mean that all combination could be very heavy but it's not because of the citrus so it's cozy I believe again this is a perfume that you could wear all year around it may be a bit more appropriate during the summer because of you know that association with um, sunscreen, right? But I do feel like this could be again a personal scent. Um, it's not um, aggressive, just as the previous one. I believe you can wear this to work during day, during night, whatever you'd like. I like this one. I feel like this one translates very well from paper to my skin again it's not the fault of the perfume it's the fault of my skin but um and it may be different from for different people right so i don't want to say that this translates much more equally from paper to body but at least for me it does so if you have certain notes that Sometimes you like the perfume on paper and then you don't like it on your skin. I do believe it's a good thing for you to try to investigate because, again, that could be a thing. But yes, this is very pleasant. Coconut sun. Okay, and now we have Blackberry Lily. This one is very... Why do I say it's exciting? It's a juicy perfume. Very juicy. Anyway, so blackberry lily. Top notes we have blackberry, black currant, and lily. Mid notes we have lily of the valley, darana, rose, and magnolia. And then base, we have caramel, Haitian vetiver, umber, cedar, patchouli, Egyptian pelagronium. Complicated. Very complex base. Anyway, this smells delicious. first thing, when I first smelled this, I was like, my goodness, this smells like, like a very juicy, florally jam, someone is making like a, a blackberry jam with some black currant and some rose in the middle, and that's what I smell. It's sweet, it's intoxicated, it's very juicy, as I said. It's a juicy scent, like, it's right here by my side, and I can almost taste it, like, it's that kind of scent. It's an amazing scent, right? I feel like this would be perfect from some, for someone who likes this type of scent because that person is not me but I believe that my mother would love this so I am going to bring this tester with me when I go visit her and I'm going to just ask her what she thinks 
because I believe that she is the person for this perfume. She likes fruity, very sweet, very juicy perfumes, so that's why. From those type of perfumes, I usually don't like many. It's too much for me, It's all I can always smell them on me, again, I can almost taste them, so it's just too over, over, you know, over the top for me. But anyway, this is not offensive for me, so I could definitely wear it if I, you know, was in the mood for this type of jammy, sweet, juicy type of experience. Because it's not aggressive in a way that some of those perfumes can be. Um, yeah, so for me, this is an amazing perfume still. I like it on paper and I like it on, on my skin, even though it has caramel. I feel like caramel here doesn't play that much of a big role. And the percentage of caramel note is not too much for me to have that, you know, bitter reaction as with other perfumes where caramel um, is a, like a big player, right? Because we have such a complex list of notes here, so the combination itself is a bit, um, you know, helpful in terms of me not being, not having an issue with the caramel note. As it dries down, it smells a little bit more like rose and a bit less like, you know, that jelly jam thing that we got in the beginning, but I still feel like it smells very juicy. For me, I mean, it could be a um, like an everyday scent, depending on what you like, but I don't know, for some people this might be like perfect type of, perfect amount of everything, right? So, scent, juiciness, sweetness, blah blah blah, etc. For me, it's like a very very special occasion type of um, scent. I would say that it's not too appropriate of um, all seasons because I feel like this would be too much in the summer but it really is up to you because you know, you do you but I do feel like this combination is one of the best here in this I'm saying this not on a light note because, as I said, I don't like this type of perfumes. So for me to actually like it and even like try it on my skin and stuff like that and like, you know, still liking it for the most time, uh, that was a huge surprise for me. So if you like those sweet and juicy, like almost edible type of perfumes that smell like fruits, again smell like jam, um, you will definitely like this. So I would definitely recommend to check this out, Blackberry Lily. Okay, so the next one that we got here is Santa. Another vanilla. Vanilla. Vanille. I don't know. When they say vanille with two L's and a an knee, like it's supposed to be French, right? Santal vanille. Or whatever. Vanilla. This is one of those perfumes that I already mentioned. I believe in my commodity perfumes review. When I first spray it, it smells like dill pickles. Like, absolutely. 
absolutely that. When you first read it, there is a no, something is here that, you know, that combination. Okay, we had a plane Anyway, but that was good because this had a little bit of time to dry and we can talk about the notes. So, Santalvani, we got on the top notes. Cardamom, coconut milk, mirror oil and Indian pepper. Mid notes, we got vanilla, olibanum and cedar. And base notes, we got Madagascar sandalwood, Kashmiran, and cacao. Like, when, if someone had given me this notes, and I just looked at them, you know, I would be, oh my god, this is the type of perfume that I would adore. But, there is a but. I mean, if this smells good, don't take me wrong, as I said at the beginning, I like all of these perfumes. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about the perfumes except my own reaction. So, this is on me and not on the perfumes, right? I mean, I, I, then, and then again, perfume reviews are related to how a person reacts to that perfume. Anyway, I had a little bit of a brain stop there. Anyhow, absolutely nothing wrong with this perfume. As long as it dries, the dill pickles go away. Okay? So that issue is solved and we don't have it. And it smells very good. I really like it on my skin as well. I would think that I would prefer the vanilla woods um, in terms of scent, but no, this one works better with my skin. However, again, I can't go away from the pickle, the dill pickle experience. I understand that it goes away and, you know, all of that, but still, it just subtracts something from the experience, right? When you put on your perfume and you feel like you have showered yourself in, like, pickled water, that's kind of, you know, out of the experience that I want from my perfume. Otherwise, this is good. I wouldn't say it's like one of the best perfumes that I ever smelled, but it's a good perfume. I believe that I read somewhere when I was researching the notes for this perfume that this is um, like a I don't want to say dupe, but like a, um, an alternative with Santal 33 or whatever those Santal uh, perfumes that you got. Um, I have read somewhere that those Santal perfumes smell exactly like pickles for some people. So it's not just me, okay? It's not just me. Okay, yeah. So, the pickles went away slowly and now it smells like a combination of something spicy so I feel like we have some cardamom and coconut milk and pepper, right? We got vanilla for sure I don't smell sandalwood uh, too much but I believe that once um, the day goes on and you wear the perfume, sandalwood and cashmiran is, um, obviously are the base notes, right? Those are the ones who usually stay. 
uh, by the end, but yeah. So this is one of those scents that changes, like it changes through uh, all the steps. So when you spray it, it smells like pickles. When it settles down, it smells a bit spicy, a bit coconutty, a bit vanilla -y. And when, you know, day goes by, hour pass, and it starts to smell a little bit more like sandalwood, kashmiran. I don't smell cacao here. Maybe just a little touch within that spicy type of combination. But yes, for me, now that it's a little bit drier, um, it smells like cardamom, smells like coconut milk, it smells like pepper. Yeah, it's a good smell. For me, I feel like I would wear it. Like if someone gifted this to me, I would definitely wear it. Uh, I don't I don't find the smell offensive or anything like that even though we got the pickles but again once it dries I like the scent it's a very cozy scent I don't feel like it's too too much for any occasion it could be one of those personal scents or you can wear it anytime I like it. It's again my skin but better with a little bit of spicy touch. That's what I think about this perfume. So once it's dry I like it and I believe that there's nothing wrong with a pickle except you know if you don't uh, appreciate that situation. Anyhow still a very good scent. I believe this is cheaper than the Santal 30 something something so maybe you can consider this instead of, instead of that again, it's up to you really trying it but as I said, I like it overall so that was Santal Vanille okay, and we have the last one from the set now. This is Lotus Pear. This was a surprise for me. I believe this is my favorite from the set. Uh, in combination, right? Scent on the paper and on my skin. And I'm saying that it was a surprise because I thought that I would like uh, my favorite would be Vanilla Woods. But we know that I didn't get along with it on my skin. I w I'm going to say that this is uh, also with the Blackberry Lily. Is one of the most different scents that I have smelled in a few years. Again, I'm not a perfume connoisseur or whatever. I like perfumes. I'm trying to find my perfect perfume. That's my experience overall, okay? But this is very different. As you first spray it, it smells a little bit like shampoo. But a nice shampoo, okay? So, it's fresh. Again. I feel like it's supposed to be fresh, right? Because it's lotus, pear, pear. Sometimes it's associated with fresh. Same as lotus. But this is such a nice smell, such a clean, fresh smell. So yeah, I mean, obviously it smells like shampoo because it has those clean type of inclination, right? Like you smell clean when you shampoo your hair and like take a shower, etc. 
but this is this smells amazing it smells amazing again this is my favorite from the set both on my skin and on paper let's go to the uh, to the notes top notes are pear and peach mid notes we got lotus gardenia jasmine orange blossom and rose and then base notes we got geranium So, I do believe that it smells exactly what is said in the name. It smells like lotus and it smells like pear. I feel like peach and all the other notes like um, orange and gardenia and geranium adds to that um, shower is slightly juicy type of experience so it is flower meets uh, fruit in the best combination of, of, on, obviously in my opinion okay because sometimes when you combine flowers and fruit it can it can be a bit heavy for instance blackberry lily is much heavier than this and we are also combining um fruit and flowers there right so in this case i mean i find this amazing i am actually tempted to buy like a, a small travel size that they have this is not cheap type of perfume so I'm not going to spend hundred and something euros to buy this, the, the bigger bottle but you know, I, I feel like this is a great scent if you like fresh scents the other day I was in the airport and I, um, they had like a very big um, selection of reserve perfumes so they have like a lot of option of like cotton linen etc like all of those clean type of scents and i really like warm cotton i will try perhaps to you know consider uh checking that as well because i really enjoyed it on paper right i did not smell it on myself but this is that type of scent meeting again a bit of fruit and a bit of flower right it smells clean but there's an extra something so i i i love it because i love those clean type of perfumes for me those are the best i would like sometimes to venture into the universe of like heavy gourmand and you know those delicious type of perfumes but again my body just doesn't work well with most of them um so you know you gotta work with what you got but i really really like this perfume and now that it's dry It has that pear note shining a bit more through and it adds a little bit of something different as well. It's difficult to explain, but again, as I said, it's clean with a touch of pear juice, something there. Um, so yes, this is my favorite. I would definitely recommend trying it if you are into clean perfumes but you don't mind a slight touch of something something else it's not sweet I mean it is sweet but it's not too sweet right it's uh, not very cozy for me this is like a spring summer perfume more leaning into spring but I, I can definitely see someone wear it all year around. 
I really really like it as you may see I can't stop smelling it oh, very very nice so we got lots of spare I have uh, three more perfumes that I wanted to talk uh, with you about today but in the meantime I got something else to show you This was gifted to me and I don't know if I'm supposed to say that this is a promotion or something this was gifted to me but it's not like they are paying for advertisement or anything like that anyway but I was reviewing it for a little bit of time I was traveling I got sick very very sick and I stayed sick for two weeks so I couldn't you know I I was not brave enough to um, add any supplements and stuff like that but I have been trying it for the last two weeks and uh, this is from Vital Beauty uh, Beauty with right there and this is body fat control type of supplement to be very gentle with it because the pills make a lot of noise but this is the packaging right inside again this is from vital beauty and this is meta green slim up and it got it's got um, uh, again certain ingredients that are supposed to help you uh, reduce body fat and improve blood cholesterol levels by um, yes so basically um, it is related with fat foods and stuff like that and uh, regarding the ingredients it's got green tea extract and then um, vitamin C chicory root extract um, cotton seed oil powder again it's mostly green tea glycerin nothing too much I don't see any you know too dangerous of an ingredient here that's why I also you know decided to get it uh, if I saw something here then I didn't know what it was I would not um, I would not have taken this but again I can't say anything regarding the body fat reduction but I was very surprised to notice that this gives me energy I don't know if I have mentioned this uh, before but I'm a very tired person always like I wake up tired somewhere in the middle of the day maybe by the end of the day my energy increases a little bit but like a little bit when I say a little bit it's like an hour maybe two max and then I'm tired again and it's always like that I've never been uh, like people have told me oh you should check your whatever whatever um, you like your hormonal and stuff like that but I've always been like that I was always a very like sit in the same place person I was never running around even when it, even uh, when I was a child anyway so again I was very surprised that this has given me energy like when I take it I feel that boost you know like when I have those uh, that hour or two uh, you know 
of energy sometimes but when I take this it works the magic I believe it's from the green tea I believe it has to do with some specific type of caffeine as well from the green tea but I must say I don't take a coffee um, frequently if I do take a coffee I take like one uh, a day and it has to be in the morning because uh, coffee gives me anxiety like for some people uh, it gives you energy whatever whatever for me coffee gives me anxiety my hand starts to shake and it's not a good feeling but this hasn't given me any of that so I like it I like it so far I don't see any side effects um, I don't know some of this peels this is Korean by the way so this is from a Korean brain uh, brand um, and again you take up to three tablets a day with water after your meals um, yeah so I haven't taken three a day but again it's a green tea vitamin C and pan, uh, pantothaic acid type of product so basically that's it and again just for the fact that it gives me energy I've taken one today and here I am talking with you um, I actually didn't sleep very well this last two nights uh, because of other things not related to this but I um, have taken this today to help me you know film the video for you and here we are I don't feel as uh, tired as I would be if I haven't taken this so just overall I do believe that it helps with my energy I don't know if it helps with my fat but we will see I don't think I had enough time uh, to try that anyway here we are so we had our vital beauty body fat control green tea meta green sleep up okay now that we had our you know first moment of me talking about something that was gifted to me I feel like it's a milestone to remember anyway as I said I have three more perfumes to talk with you and uh, I, I found this website it sells perfume testers so it's a German website again that's why I'm not going to go into too much detail but I find it very useful and again they have a lot of perfumes that I want to try the prices are I mean what they are right you receive like a small tester and you paid um, I don't know 8 10 for some of them like 13 14 euros but again if you don't have uh, where to try this perfume right or um, if you want to try them like in a bit in a bit of a long term right because with the situation of perfumes as I always say in my case as well sometimes perfumes smell different on me and therefore I need that time you know to test them correctly so this is a great opportunity for that and um, it arrived in this very cute pouch as well so one of them the biggest one is Jo Malone ginger biscuit it's just the name that caught my attention and as you may see like it's a glass bottle all of it is glass bottles with the sprayer anyway let me spray it and the sprayer is really good like the quality of this sprayers is better than the ones from the discovery set that we just saw 
this smells like Christmas in the bottle like it smells like winter it smells like holidays it smells amazing if it wasn't that expensive I feel like I would buy this perfume just to have it in my collection and use it during the holiday time however it is quite quite expensive so I don't know maybe I will get it I'm not certain yet but it smells like ginger it smells like ginger biscuits that's the correct name like it smells exactly like that it smells so pleasant it smells so yummy amazing amazing I mean I'm not surprised John Malone um, house is very good with perfumes in general but like I've bought a few Jo Malone perfumes through years and my favorite is the sea salt one I believe I still have a little bit of it left doesn't last long it's those kind of perfumes that um, just dissipate which is I mean what it is because yeah that's how it works but I mean being that expensive sometimes I'm a bit you know okay but could you perform better a little bit anyway I have sprayed this on myself this does perform better than the sea salt and the other ones that I have tried and it smells delicious it smells delicious I love it it's very seasonal right because I don't think you could wear this in the spring or summer I mean you could you know who's gonna stop you like who's gonna stop me on the street saying excuse me are you wearing ginger uh, what it is ginger biscuit perfume in the middle of the summer I bet nobody is going to do that but as I said this is delicious I'm very glad I got it I'm not going to talk about the notes or anything I just wanted to mention this because there's another one coming that's very curious let's go to the next one did you know that there's a company that makes perfume and it's called it's real here it is they got several different ones but the one that I got is called yummy tinkles yummy tinkles I just got it but for the name really I did not I did not know that there was a company called ASMR like a perfume company called ASMR and then you know I just check the ones that they got on their website again this oh, this is yummy I don't remember the notes but I feel like it's much of something edible basically yummy tingles after all but this is delicious it is gourmand but in that type of way that is not sickening right because there are those gourmand type of uh, perfumes that are sweet so sweet that like I don't know like my teeth are gaining cavities just by smelling it right but this one it's like a it's like a soft sweet like a soft gourmand something yummy but like it's far away <laughs> tempting you from far away like you can smell it but it's less aggressive than the ginger uh, biscuit and now that it's dried it just smells it smells like um, 
like a toasted marshmallow or something like that or some vanilla but again this is also my smell but better uh, in a sweet carmine way so I just find it amazing because it, it's very rare for you to find perfumes that are like Cremant in that type of way, right? Like those soft perfumes. But anyway, I like this very much. Anyway, ASMR. Okay, and we got the last one. I was curious about this one. I don't even know if I want to spray it. Because it is kind of too much for me. Oh, Jesus. This is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Yeah, um, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I do like tobacco when it's not too strong. Oh my god, just the smell of it lingering around is like choking me. Gee. You know that when the perfume is choking you, it's not a good perfume for you. Too much. Way too much for me. It's so intense. Like, why can't perfumers, when they think about a perfume, like, this is the most tobacco -y and the most vanilla -y perfume that I have ever smelled. Why? Why do you have to make it like I don't know, like a sword, like something that chokes you, right? I don't know, for me, it doesn't make sense. For instance, with ginger biscuit, they didn't make it so gingery and so biscuity and, you know, it will slap you in the face. It's gentle, it really smells like you are eating that biscuit. But here, I don't know. It smells kind of like honey as well. It's like a concoction with honey, vanilla and tobacco in the middle, basically. That's how it smells. But you know what? The positive thing here is that I have smelled it now. My curiosity is clear as daylight and I can just move on. I believe that this would smell nice on someone definitely not me but like it could be a nice perfume to spray like spray it and then like pass through it through the cloud of the perfume and I feel like in that way perhaps for like some people I would like to smell this perfume on them but even for me, I have tried this and I was choking, like my head started to hurt and then I was like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna wash this, try to wash this and I mean, it has a really great staying power. Again, it's a very expensive perfume. This small tester was like, I don't know, 14 euros. So, you know, it wasn't cheap. Now that it's like come down on the paper, I'm like, you know what? That's okay. That's, I mean, I'm not going to be angry about it. Tobacco is there. But like, I don't know, it's just the overall sweetness. Like that's, again, it doesn't smell as much as vanilla. It smells more like uh, honey. like a syrupy type of thing so it is Germant like for me this is a Germant type of scent I don't know the notes 
I don't want to know. Maybe I will check them just to make sure that, I don't know, I don't get any combination like this in the future. But like, um, I have the uh, other perfume that is called Un Air the Apogee, which is from a French brand that I don't remember now and that smells like tobacco as well but it's not sweet enough for my taste and this is just sweet so there's no in between or there is and I haven't found it yet because I believe that my perfect perfume has to have tobacco I don't know why don't ask me why I just like the note but sometimes, as I said, sometimes pear also smells like tobacco, so, at least for me, so, you know, maybe pear perfumes are the ones that I should look into. Anyway, this is fine now. As you may see, I continue smelling it. I still feel a little bit like I want to choke and cough and, you know, Maybe I'm allergic to something in this perfume. That could also happen. Wouldn't be the first. But anyway, those were all the things that I wanted to talk with you today. I hope that you enjoy this video and I see